Well, Landon, uh, first, congratulations on the award. Appreciate it. Um, I'd like to ask you what it means to you knowing that your teammates voted for you for this award and the respect they showed for how far you've come to come back. Um, you know, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, I just want to really uh, show my appreciation for uh, the training staff here at the Miami Dolphins, you know, they was with me uh, day in and day out. You know, I can't uh, really describe, you know what I'm saying, how I feel for that group of people in there. You know, I won't I won't name any names because I kind of know that they don't want any recognition. They just come here every day and just try to do their job the best they can. And I just appreciate them, you know, and um, to be honest, you know, receiving this award to me is just, basically showing a tribute to them, you know, because even though I was fighting day in and day out to get back, they was right there with me along the way. You know, I had my ups and downs days and they didn't allow me to uh, get down on myself and stuff like that. They just kept pushing and pushing me and pushing me. And, you know, uh, me, me getting back on the field was a true testimony of them as well, you know, and, and the care they had for me and the organization. Did you ever have any doubt? I'm sorry. Did, no, did you so ever? Appreciate them for that. Was there ever a question in your mind about the severity of the injury and your ability to come back? Uh, you know, it was my first time ever having a serious injury, serious surgery. You know, I never really spoke about it and whatnot. I just kind of start grinding. You know, it wasn't time to really dwell on it. It was time to work, get back, and uh. Be, you know, be able to get back ready for the season. And um, it wasn't that I, I had doubts because, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fight at the end of the day. You know, I've been going through adversity, you know what I'm saying, mainly my whole life. But it, it was just from a standpoint of not knowing, you know, I had never been through an injury. So just not knowing from a rehab standpoint what I need to do. So every day, day to day was a learning experience for me. And whatnot, and um, like I said, that's why I was grateful to have such a group, a good uh, group around me. You know, what I'm saying, and uh, getting me back right. Thank you. Omar, what what was the toughest moment or the toughest part of 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 the the road back? Um, I always tell people my toughest moment, honestly, was the week before. So the week before I had surgery, because you just end up rehabbing, but you know for a fact you ain't getting better. You know, so I'm just in there rehabbing and rehabbing, and like every day I'm going home, like I'm not getting better, you know. But at, from a standpoint of I knew why I was rehabbing, but I still just me and how I operate, I'm just like, I'm not getting better, you know, because obviously it ain't fixed, <laughs> you know. So once I was literally, uh, I think I had surgery January, third, I want to say, and a by the fourth, I was ready to go every day. It was a, it was a go, you know, I really didn't have any time that I, you know, I'm saying, uh, worried about this, worried about that, worried about stuff I couldn't control. All I could control is getting myself in the best situation to be back on the field, to put a, uh, to be that same guy I was when I left it. So you initially thought, I'm just trying to get clarity here. You initially thought it could be rehabbed instead of surgically repaired. No, and no, 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 no. What I'm saying is like, cause you know, you do rehab before you have surgery. So I'm just doing rehab, but I'm, I didn't have cert. Like, you know, I was had the icing and stuff. It's still rehab, even though, you know, you just icing it and stuff. So I wasn't like, I knew that my knee wasn't but better. <laughs> like it wasn't better until I had surgery. So once I had the surgery, I was ready to go, but no, no, I knew I needed surgery. Okay. That. Thank you for providing that clarity. Yes, I knew I, knew I needed surgery. And, and the road back for you, how do you feel like you performed this season? I mean, I believe it, it's it's one of your higher tackle production years, um, especially considering you came back nine months from an ACL tear. <laughs> I feel like you just answered the question. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's a true testimony, first to God, and it's a true testimony to the people around me that, that helped me get to this point. And, and, and that's why I appreciate them so much because of the simple fact that, you know, you have a lot come from this injury and really not, you know, 
And I, I just, I feel like, uh, you know, even though we have, you know, we have one more to go that, you know, I, I did a good job for uh, my teammates and my coaching staff. And I, I know you try, you kind of addressed this earlier in the season, but for the Dolphins to resign you, even though they knew you faced an uphill journey back, how much respect did that show? Because you were an unrestricted free agent and uh, repairing an ACL. Yeah, uh, like I told you, man, it was, it was just a, uh, it showed me a lot. You know, it showed me that the organization had my back. You know, it showed me that if this organization can have my back like that, you know, starting with Flo and the coaching staff, then I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do everything possible it takes to get back, you know, and um, it wasn't an easy road. You know, I, I, I do have two kids. I have a wife, you know, and um, and I know sometimes it was tough for them, you know, and stuff like that, because I did have to dedicate a lot of time to rehab to get back. But, you know, my wife, her being an athlete, uh, she understood the journey, you know, and um, she was right there with me. And, you know, I just appreciate her for everything, too. Uh, and like I said, back on the organization, man, I appreciate them for giving me another opportunity, knowing the, you know what I'm saying, the severity of my injury and whatnot. And, you know, I, I, I truly feel like, you know, they didn't regret it. Thank you. No problem. Hey, Landon, uh, I know uh, you guys have taken a lot of pride in your run defense for most of the season and uh, obviously had to be disappointed with uh, the effort last time out. Um, how appreciative are you of just one opportunity to, to uh, end on a different note? And uh, what are you guys doing this week in, in practice to correct that? You know, uh, every week you come out and, of course, you know, you we pride ourselves to being the best run defense in the NFL period. You know, so uh, like I said, after Sunday, you know, you got to tip, tip your hat to Tennessee. But you know, we turned the page. We turned the page. You know, we made the corrections. And um, one thing about it, man, we got another opportunity to go back out there this Sunday, you know, and show everybody uh, that, you know, that we, you know, we're ready to go.